Hi everyone, in this video I'll be discussing the fate of my C5 Corvette. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel about kick cars, Corvettes and other car topics. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below and share with others on social media. So to answer the big question, will I part out this car for a DTM kit car? No, I will not. This is just too nice of a car to do something like that. And as I explained before, you really have to use a salvage car when you go to part out because it's just too expensive buying a clean title car and parting it out. And since this is a collector's version in such great condition, it would be a crime. Now I recently had this car in at the GM dealer and even they were like, we have not seen a C5 car in this condition in a long time. This car is really nice. Now this car has 127,000 miles on it. And you're probably like, wow, that's a lot of miles. But you know what? When you saw my other videos about trying out other C5s that had 40 to 80,000 miles on them, they were beat and destroyed. This car is like cherry inside. It's cherry outside and the performance is freaking awesome. Sure, it has some quirks. It's going to have a little bit more wind noise leaking through, but that's what Corvettes are known for. And you also have to keep in mind, when you buy a car with 60 to 80,000 miles on it, you're going to spend a lot of money replacing some parts, because it's just around that time to do so. If you buy one with 120,000 miles on it, and it's been well taken care of, all that maintenance has been done. It's good to go. Brakes, belts, water pump, tie rod ends, spark plugs, fluids, hood struts, it's all taken care of. And the Haggerty valuation just jumped up in the last year by $10,000. And the public is just starting to realize that. So if you could find one of these in good condition, it's going to start appreciating. Now with this car, sure it's not worth as much as a 30,000 mile car would be, but honestly, it's about the same drive. Certain things age on a car not because they're driven, but because they're just aging and oxidizing. The average price on a C5 with about 30,000 miles on it is somewhere between 30 and 35K. You could buy this car in the range of 18 to 20. So what am I getting at? Yes, this car is for sale. Not only is it well maintained, there is no stains in the carpet or such, and it has new Goodyear Eagle F1 tires with black Z06 wheels. That's worth a few grand right there. It also has volant air intake and Magnaflow catback exhaust. The top magazines hail that the C5 is the ultimate performance bargain right at this moment. Am I still interested in a GTM? Not really. Love the look, but the height is even lower than this car, and it's hard enough for me getting in and out of this car. But what's really cool about this journey is the week I bought this car home is the week I met all my neighbors. I have lived here for years with not much dialogue. And soon as they saw this car in my garage, they started coming over. And now I have relationships with all my neighbors. It's not something I would have ever expected. And it's all because of this car. So why am I selling this car? Well, I did not mean to buy this car to begin with. It just kind of lined up with a lot of my factory five and LS research, including the same type of transmission I'm putting in the 33 hot rod. Now that my Corvette project is finished and I decided to take up two bays in my garage with the 33 hot rod, I just don't have the room for my other vehicles while I'm building this new car. However, I will say this is not the last Corvette for me. We had a Corvette in my family when I was a little kid, now the C5, and I just went and drove a UC7 Corvette at the dealership, which was phenomenal. Sport and luxury, all with your modern comfort conveniences like Bluetooth and rear and front cameras. If I sold my C5 and my GS300, maybe the C7 would be both of these cars in one. And I haven't really talked about it on this channel, but the C8 Corvette, man, I'm, I'm kind of besides myself because... Oh man, we've only seen the renderings, but I hope this is going to be everything we could have ever imagined at such an affordable price. So 
I'm looking forward to the release of the new C8 Corvette and we'll see what happens. But until next time, please hit the subscribe and notification buttons. 